Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Aesthetic Blitz or Justin, and welcome back to some more High Pixel Skywars. First off, I want to mention you will be seeing a Skywars gameplay in the background of this video, but I also want to touch on this forum post right here because um, while it's exciting for the brand new maps and the returning maps to be back in the game, um, there are some things you should probably know when it comes to these rotations um, and some of the maps that are being removed along with these maps that are being added. So let's jump right into it with the map rotation. What does that mean? Well, basically every four to six weeks, we're getting a new map rotation, which means new maps to be released more regularly, which is awesome, along with previously removed maps to be brought back. So think Frozen Throne, think Kronos, think Atuin, there are, think Magma. There are so many old maps that we no longer get to play in. It is so awesome. They are bringing them back from the past and hopefully we'll see all of them eventually be brought back and that would be so cool. And finally, removing some maps to be revamped or to be returned in future rotations. Now, that is the key thing about this most recent update. There are a lot of maps that have been removed and are going to be removed this month that you guys may not know about because of the hype of these new maps. So as we scroll down, you see some of the new maps, Hibiscus, Arul, Fragment, Auburn Towers, uh, the returning maps, Canopy and Mothership. And then we get down to the maps that are currently leaving the rotation. And their reasoning for this does make sense sense so they say it allows them to improve map availability and a server performance by reducing the number of active maps to 24 to 32 per rotation down from over 40 so yeah it does make sense as you guys know i've been a pretty big advocate of throwing all of the maps back on the server and allowing us to play all of them filter through them with the map selector and just have a wider ar array of maps to play in Skywars. But I guess I do forget, I think the map selector is only available to MVP pluses, um, or if you're like a non rank or a lower rank, you only get one or two or three uses of the selector per week. I'm not really too sure. Don't quote me on that. Let me know in the comment section down below. But I guess if that's the case, we couldn't have all of those maps because. Uh, people wouldn't be able to actually filter through them. They would have to play all of them and that would be crazy, but it would have a fresh feel because people would always be playing different maps. But I digress, they're clearly not doing that. That's not in the cards, not in their plans whatsoever. And of course, whatever makes the server have better performance is the decision I want to have happen. So I'm okay with it. It makes sense. I'm happy about that. But moving on to the heavy hitter. This is what not many people are talking about because the hype of the new maps and the returning maps is so insane. People are forgetting that there are other maps in Skywars and some of them are kind of gone. So um, these are the nine maps being removed. I'm gonna say 10 because there is really one more that should be in this list. And if anyone's listening, please get rid of it. Okay, so we have Frostbite, Submerged, Sanctuary, Deserted Islands, Entangled, Steampunk, Aquarius, Tiki, and Onion Ring 2. Yes, that's right, Onion Ring 2. To the map we wanted so badly back in Skywars back in the day and we got it and now it's being removed yet again but to be completely fair Onion Ring 2 is not a good map it only has the nostalgia aspect for us older Skywars players and it is nowhere near as good as Onion Ring 1 because um, you know they made the Onion Ring thick with five C's and now it's just a, a constant marathon sprint contest around the map when no one really ever wants to fight so uh, it makes sense I'm excited for Onion Ring 3 which won't happen but it's just kind of really funny to me that it's getting you removed it when there were so many petitions and forum posts about it getting back in the map and we got it or back in the game and we got it and now it's gone yet again <laughs> and in my personal opinion i think the only good maps out of this list are entangled and tiki the rest are moderately okay but the one that i cannot believe is not on this list is overfall why stop at nine maps man that's a weird number go to 10 remove overfall everyone's happy we're good man of course i'm a little bit biased as you guys know i massively hate overfall whenever i spawn in the map in in the in the cage i just slash hub away from the map if i spawn into it and actually land on the map itself because i'm not paying attention by reading my live streaming chat or whatever it may be i jump off the map and go into a new game because the map is so bad it's so annoyingly not balanced it's just such a bad map in my opinion and i cannot believe that one it wasn't already on this list and two uh, that they made it nine and not ten and not including this map it's just weird 
And if memory serves right, they always remove maps based on the star rating of the maps. Whichever one is the lowest rated is the one that gets removed. Yes, you do rate maps in Skywars if you want to at the end of the game, unless that feature has been taken away. But Overfall was one of the most universally hated maps in terms of the rating to ever be in Skywars. I mean, if you go onto your map selector and go to the next page, it is almost always at the back, at the very bottom. No one wants the map. No one wants that map, man. Throw it away. Re remove it from our minds. Use the men in black technology. Get it out of there and we'll all be happy. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Make sure you guys comment down yours in the comment section. <sighs> Okay, rant over, but make sure you guys note that these maps being removed are not permanent. These will and can return in the future. So if your favorite map got removed, do not worry. They will indeed be coming back in future rotations. That's the point of them being rotations. It's so we get new maps and older maps, other maps go away. And then in the future, they come back and they go away and they come back. It's like we're orbiting the sun, but with Skywars maps as that totally makes sense. But I think with that, I'm going to call it for this video. Guys, if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, and of course, share this video around to one of your friends who you think may enjoy or benefit from knowing this information. Because again, I feel like many people are not talking about this when they really should be or at least be knowledgeable on the subject. So um, other than that, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.